So three years ago, I made a video about whether or not the Hunter Classic was better or Call of the Wild was better. Well, this video isn't going to be about which one was better. This one is going to be about what Call of the Wild actually is and what the Hunter Classic actually is. Now, Call of the Wild is a lot of fun, but it's also very easy. And by being very easy, that's what makes it fun because you can just jump out there go pretty much right to a certain area and almost guaranteed you're going to find animals in that exact area. These are called need zones. So for instance, if you want to find animals on Call of the Wild, all you have to do is go to any kind of water source. Go to a river, go to a water hole if you are in Africa, go to a lake. But basically, you're just constantly going right back to the exact same lake or water hole. So when you go there, you can have a really good potential at finding what you're looking for and that is most of the time a dime potential animal now it is really cool when you find a diamond animal but the thing is when you're trying to find something like this you can't just walk around and hunt the whole woods or the whole uh, surroundings you have to go to a particular area and even if you go to a resting zone it seems that it doesn't really matter it's still going to be within kind of the same facility of the water so you're only going to be maybe like two three hundred yards away from where the actual need zone is so basically the only place you're gonna find this white tail buck is pretty much right here another thing about this is you can get within about 200 yards away from any animal before it even senses you or has any clue that you're there that basically means that you can run until you're 200 yards away and once you get close all you have to do is either go for a headshot or a double lung shot which is mostly why I try and use the bow because you can't just run to 200 yards away and take a shot because that's probably not going to work out so good. But if you're using a rifle, which a lot of people do, it is very, very easy and easy equals very repetitive and too long of being too easy makes it kind of boring. However, in the Hunter Classic, it's not really the same feeling in the Hunter Classic you have more of a kind of you just hunt slowly and every area that you go to there's a potential of a big animal or a rare animal in that area you have no clue what's going to be there also if you find a really cool animal say you find a 300 scoring non-typical whitetail and you kick them up well if you don't hunt for 10 hours straight until you get that animal it's going to be gone i mean i'm not saying it's going to take 10 hours to be able to get that animal but if you don't get that animal during that hunt, you can't just come back and go to the need zone and find that animal. It's gone. That's it. You only have one chance to be able to find that animal. I mean, yeah, you can track them down and that's all you can really do is just keep on tracking and tracking. Or it's called the wild. Say you find a down potential animal on your own map and you know, you have to go out to eat or something or go run some uh, errands. You can come right back to that need zone the next day or even like a couple days later and there's a really good chance that same exact time potential animal is going to be there now being a content creator myself i really do appreciate the fact that call of the wild is like a guaranteed content and so basically that means anytime i want to record something i can just run to a need zone and i can guaranteed that there's going to be something there for me to hunt where in the hunter classic I can hunt for hours and hours and hours and i'm only going to find does and small bucks and I really don't want to just make a video about does and small bucks, but eventually there's a chance that I could find something really special where in call of the wild, if I don't find anything special, I can just reset it, come right back to that same need zone, uh, try and take out the whole herd and then come back to that need zone. And hopefully a really, really big animal comes to that same exact uh, location. Now, what I've said a long time ago is here's what would make call of the wild, not as repetitive and not as easy if the animals actually would rest in certain areas and then drink in certain areas and you could actually find them throughout the entire map not only basically around any water source because if you keep going to the same water source it, you just get bored of going back to the exact same spot over and over and over and over again i'll tell you one thing though i will never get bored of finding true rack diamond whitetail because they are just some of the coolest looking animals in this game when I play the Hunter Classic, I almost never run. I only run basically after I have an animal hit and I'm going to get it. 
But other than that, I'm always, always only walking until I get to a good area and then I crouch. The Hunter Classic has shed antlers, which is a pretty cool new update. So that would have been a 140s buck, which would have been a pretty decent whitetail. The Hunter Classic is really relaxing. So this is actually how I hunt. I'll crouch, I'll go about 50 feet or so. I'll put out a call and keep on walking. And that's it. Just a calm or relaxing pace. Whether or not I see something, that's not what's important. And I'm not in a rush to try and get from need zone to need zone. I'm just hunting and going forward and enjoying the trip. And that's pretty much what it's all about. On the Hunter Classic, I have pretty much just as good of a chance at finding an animal here as I do here, 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 here. Basically anywhere is the point. I could find a non-typical here or here, just exactly the same, or even here. Yeah, there's water pretty much all around here, but that doesn't mean that there's not giant animals all in the wooded areas. And in Call of the Wild, you're not gonna find them in wooded areas. You're only gonna find them. And basically what you see highlighted is what we're gonna hunt. And that's what I meant by saying you're gonna be hunting pretty much the exact same spot over and over and over again. As you can see, we hunted the river, the river, all of this lake here, this small little lake here, and all these lakes here. Basically, you're heading from water source to water source to water source. So pretty much you're gonna be hunting the same spots over and over again. And we know that if we come here between 5.30 and 9.30 in the morning, there's a really good chance there's gonna be some black tailed deer right here at this drink zone. Also, if we come here, I don't have any zones right now because I kind of just started over recently, but there are some white tail needs on here. So if we come here at 12 o'clock, there's gonna be white tail here. And if we come here at 15 o'clock, there's gonna be white tail here. So it's like guaranteed we know that they're gonna be there. So we change the time to 13 o'clock and just like clockwork, there's our white tail drinking right where I thought he was gonna be. And he's about 200 yards away. And there he lays. Right lung hit at 250 yards, 868. Now, if we want to get some black tail, we'll just come right back to the exact same spot, change the time back to six o'clock in the morning. And there they are, right there. Right exactly where they should be. But <laughs> I already knew they were gonna be there. When you're hunting, you have no clue if an animal is gonna be there or not. I mean, there's a chance, like say you had a trail cam set out and you saw a really big buck head in that direction a couple times there's a chance you might see that buck again but it's pretty rare and you take the Mosin make a nice shot and that should take him down and there's our buck 828 left lung and shoulder blade at 225 now graphics wise call the wild has definitely some of the best graphics out there I mean, you'll never get bored of looking at the scenery. Some of the scenery is absolutely stunning, especially if you go to uh, the new map on the Yukon Valley. It, it's just breathtaking. And Africa's even worse because basically Africa only has about seven or eight different really good water holes. All the other ones are, I mean, there's a couple of spots of water here and there, but for the most part, all you're really gonna wanna do is run to the main, main sources of uh, water. So that'd be these big water holes, this spot, this spot, all the main ones. And there's only, like I said, about six or seven of them. So you're basically just going from lodge to water hole, lodge to water hole, lodge to water hole, lodge or tent to water hole, and you just keep going to the same spots. But the thing is, every single time you go to that spot, the same exact animals are gonna be at that need zone, unless you start hunting some of them and kind of let your diamond management take place, if that even works. But, but I think it would be a lot better if they actually would make random animals come to that need zone every single time. Don't make the same animal go to that same need zone every single time. Say you find an animal at that need zone, you got lucky and found an animal at that need zone. But for that same animal to come back to the need zone every single time, it's like, I know what's gonna be at every single need zone. I know there's gonna be a six hard lion here and a five medium lion here. I know that there's gonna be uh, two six hard lions here 
And there's our six hard lion out there going to his need zone or his drink zone. But he's not there yet, so we would actually have to take like a walking shot. Which, I'm, oh, I would have taken it too. Why do you have to turn back? Wait a second, is he gonna drink right there? Yep, that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna stop right there and drink. And there is our, should be our other six hard, watch. Give me a spot, yeah, there you go. There's our other six hard. So just like I thought, two six hard lions were gonna be here and they're exactly right where they should be. But nonetheless, we still have a six hard lion out here. So I guess we'll try and make a shot. Too high. Still got double lung, but that's all right. And, oh, we actually did get a heart shot. I thought we were pretty good for heart. 181 yards out and it looks like we got single lung and heart but a single lung and heart with the 30 odd six it doesn't drop them if you get double lung and heart it will drop them so a perfect shot and not quite a gold but at the same time it's still pretty cool because i can just go right out there and find an animal almost instantly that i kind of prefer and take them down pretty quick i didn't really have to hunt very far i actually have a tent maybe like 50 feet away. So I just came up on top of this hill here and there was a nice wolby, so we took the shot. And since we have another one over there, why not take him down too? I honestly don't even know what that was. I probably should have spotted it because <laughs> it very well could have been a diamond, but and it looks like it was only a female, but that was a 288 yard double lung heart shot with the 30 on six. And here's our nice little gold wildebeest, 891 brain and skull at 170 yards out. So in conclusion, I love playing Call of the Wild because it's always fun and really, really fast. But after a while, fun and fast and easy can become repetitive and kind of boring. Whereas the Hunter Classic, it's not fast. I, it is fun if you enjoy hunting and what hunting is supposed to be like and what it's actually like. Hunting is you take your time, go to a good location, and you're as stealthy and quiet as you can be. You call, wait, listen for an animal, sneak over to that spot, get to a better place where you can see better, and then try and call them in to take a nice shot. So that's what the difference is. That's pretty much it. And so yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.